Okay, if you let y be equal to 0 and solve for x, you get 3x equal to 12, divide both sides of the equation by 3, so x equal to 4. And like I said, this point here, also known as x-intercept. Then y is equal to 0, solve for x, that would be your x-intercept. If you let y be equal to negative 2, you get 3x plus 8 is equal to 12. And then here you get 3x equal to 4, x equal to 4 over 3. There it is, 4 over 3. So that's another point. That's not a very easy point to locate on the graph, maybe. You have to approximate that. When you let x be equal to negative 6, you get 3 times negative 6 is equal to negative 18. And then we get negative 18 minus 4y is equal to 12. And here we get, if I add 18 to both sides of the equation, I get minus 4y is equal to 30. If I divide both sides of the equation by negative 4, I get negative 30 over 4 or negative 15 over 2. And this is another point. You can leave it as a decimal if you like, but fraction is the best to leave the final answer. Make sure you reduce it all the way.